and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Karn Control. So this is a deck that I wanted to put together. I wanted to put together a, a basically all colorless deck. Hey, what's up, Feature? Thanks for that sub there. Uh, because we have just a lot of cool colorless cards, and there's a lot of really good colorless lands in particular. Um, oh, I guess I'm one behind on the storm count. That's sub number four there. So we have a lot of uh, good colorless lands. So that's kind of the strength of our deck. As you see here, we have Arch of Orozco. We have some Blast Zones. We got Field of Ruins to blow up some lands. These Interplanar Beacons can help gain us some life and help us stay alive whenever we play our Planeswalkers. Um, a Bastion's just in here if we want to proliferate. You know, not only can we proliferate our, our Planeswalkers, add some counters there, but even like a uh, treasure map, we can put an extra counter on a treasure map. Um, or Antiquities War, get an extra counter on that thing. Could do that as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. But yeah, a lot of things there to put counters on. Um, or we could also our blast zones, right? There you go. We can yeah, we can proliferate blast zone. I knew there was something else. Uh, then we got mobilized districts. Those things are good at attacking planeswalkers for us, um, or good at at blocking as well. And then we even get our own skylands, our colorless un, untapped um, skylands. So, so that's what we have here. Is we have we have just a, a mana base that can do a lot of work for us. Which a lot of people's mana bases are just, you know, like their basic lands that all they do is cast spells. Ours cast spells and do a whole lot of other things. So that's kind of the strength of our deck. Um, I did start with, I, honestly, I did start with this deck just being act, just completely color, colorless. And then I decided, and you know, it's hard to stay alive being a completely colorless deck. So I did splash a little bit of blue for Psy, Master Thopterist. And then at that point, um, you know, I started playing a couple other things. I had two Mystic Forges before, and I was a little, a little unimpressed with this card. the The big thing about it compared to the other cards like Frenzy um, and Bolas of Citadel is those cards play lands off the top. This one does not get to play lands, so that's kind of a problem. You don't get to play your land off the top. So I had two of them, and I just had one Master of the Bridge, and I'm, I'm putting a second Master of the Bridge where, you know, like this Tezzeret can tick up if we can survive to get to it, and it can gain us a good amount of life uh, with its tick up. We are, we are definitely a slower deck, and we don't have a lot of good interaction for creatures. So aggro, aggro decks with a lot of creatures are going to be where we're going to struggle. And so hopefully... You know, hopefully we don't really play against those. We want to play against control decks. Um, I only played... I played two matches earlier whenever I built the deck, and I did get paired against Esper both times, and they never had Hero Precinct 1 either. It was like Esper Control, and uh, I got to play real long games and, and uh, win those, especially with the help of, like, the mana bases and everything. Um, so we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Hopefully not so much aggro, but, you know, it'll be a fun deck to play. We'll just kind of see what, what happens. Yeah, this is this will be a fun one. It's not, like, the best deck. And honestly, going... It may be better to go uh, more into the different colors, into blue-black, you know, like, like the Tezzeret deck that I've played a few times, like, where you actually get interaction, you know, get Thought Erasure and the Black Sweepers and things like that. But I just wanted to play a deck kind of built more around the, the Karns and specifically the colorless lands. I wanted to really be able to play a whole bunch of colorless lands. So that's that's kind of the point of our uh, deck here. I like this specific version. Yep, Hawkeye's ready to play. I should have switched from Vivian over to Karn. Forgot to do that. We were just playing a Vivian deck last round. All right, cool. We got the Psy. Okay, how do you like your cat? That's you, okay? That's you right there. Yeah, that's you. No, not aggro. <laughs> Ugh. We just got finished playing a lot of against a lot of mono red last league, and so I was hoping that 
you know, if we were playing against a lot of mono red last league, then we wouldn't be playing against a lot of mono red this league. Like our first league was like a, um, a whole bunch of blue green decks, and then the second league was a bunch of mono red, and so then this time I was hoping a bunch of Espa. Blast sounds cool. Blast sound blows up these things. Um, I'm not like there's no reason to play the key. The key doesn't do anything. The I'm playing key after I play Psy. He doesn't. He isn't doing anything before Psy. This game's not over. We good. We can get this. So if I would have drawn another artifact, I would have double spelled with the two artifacts, but we didn't. Ooh, I do want that card. I advise that you meet. My allies are counting on me. Hmm. We're basically just hoping to distract our opponent using some bolts other places. Dang. I was going to be blocking here. So I can, if they got Chandra, I can name Chandra. If they don't have Chandra, I can name, I can just name Firebrand. They were not distracted. The car did not distract them. I will defend my allies. True goodness will never be corrupted. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. You don't have to tap your beacon to gain a life. It's just like a... I gained a life there. It's just whenever you cast a Planeswalker, you gain a life. You don't have to tap your beacon.
we stabilize Hawkeye? I should maybe have a fountain of renewal on my sideboard, or something like that. You know, like a or the navigator's compass, one of those kind of things. All right, so their spells cost two more to cast now. What? The Sun Collared Raptor? All right, combo time. This makes these cost zero. I think I'm just going to name Chandra still, even though they have this sun-colored raptor. I don't think I really care about it. Because I have, I have the Thaumatic Compass that checks it. I think it's Fire Artisan. Let's hope it's Fire Artisan. Secrets manifest before you. Four mana lightning strike, still can't play light up the stage. I don't know, we're we're doing okay. We need to draw like we need to find like life gain. We I have three of. Unfortunately, they're in the main deck. They were on the sideboard for me to grab. But I have three of what's the artifact? Founder renewal. Some founder renewals would be nice. No, you, you block that thing. You block that thing, and you just block this. I like getting their their wizard off the battlefield, this thing, so Wizard's Lightning does cost more mana. Alright, we kinda have to. They were gonna auto tap the spires of Orosco, which I do not want to happen. Oh, I guess you need to actually add blue mana for me. Uh, and the uh, Bastion. Draw cards. Perfection. I know how this ends. Tez oh yeah, we we need big Tazeret. That's what we need. Which one's the new one? I don't know which one the new one is. Enter the battlefield this turn. Okay, this one. Then. No, don't tap my spires of Araska. 
Stop tapping that. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think I think we have lethal here. We probably do. They're at eight. Kill something, they block something else. Light. Yeah. I can just take this and go to one because they're dead this next turn. Um, I can also just Spires of Araska this. I'm just going to block with the Thopter, actually. I mean... I don't know. I just don't really want to go to one. <laughs> there, our opponent's dead basically no matter what I do. So it doesn't really matter that much. Let's see if we can kill him with the claw, though. Ah, no claw. To bathe in ghost fire. Look at us, taking game one versus red deck wins. See, our deck just kind of does stuff, you know? It's not like spectacular or anything, but it, it gets some work done. Hmm. All right, nothing good in the sideboard. What's the silent gravestone going to do for us, you ask? Nothing. But neither does the manifest key. We just got some one man artifacts that don't really do anything. I guess I could just put Grafdigger's Cage in the deck. That does stop my, I don't know, Mystic something. Man, no, Mystic Forge. Yeah, there we go. That's the name of that thing. Hmm. Not when we want to draw the Master of the Bridge. I want to draw that one a lot later in the game. Most fun new deck I've tried? Maybe... Maybe the Chandra Tribal. Definitely had a whole lot of fun with that. That we played a couple days ago. Oh, come on. <laughs> deck, don't do this to me. No, we have two of these in our deck. There are the worst draws we could have, and then we draw them back to back. Ooh, that's a good card. Rude. I already have the Interplanar Bacon that can cast Tezzeret. That's like the only black card in my deck, and so we're good there. I don't have to go grab the Swamp. We all know <clears throat> the Tezzeret turns out for the Interplanar Bacon. 
Can't get enough. I will fight. Oh, say hello to my little friend. So you're just getting a little bit of life gain in here. You know, the bacon gains us a little bit of life. Found renewal. Wow. No respect for the 3 3. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. <sighs> hmm. I really want to play Tezzeret next turn. The way that I definitely play Tezzeret next turn is by playing Guild Globe and activating Thaumatic Compass for a land. This gains me one life, though. So in, in case they have a 3 damage burn spell, I'm not dead to shock plus 3 damage burn spell. It's a tough call. Let's, let's just gain the life. I battle for the forces of good. I will not stop. Got anything cool in here? Silent Gravestone. Anything else cost one? Graft Digger's Cage. All right, come on, draw land. Come on, deck. We got 26 lands in the deck. If we top deck this land, we win. If we don't die here, also. Okay, come on, top deck land. Top deck land. Top deck land. Top deck land. Ooh, I also have Karna get to activate. Why, why are they just throwing Chain Whirler away? I don't know, but sure, whatever. I'll block. Sure, you can turn both of those creatures into a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, we got the land. Hawkeye, we got the land. Hawkeye's excited. So I guess we would have the land or the tick up with Karn to grab a land. GG, it's claw time. Oh yeah, y'all know what time it is. It's time for the claw. Ticking up here because maybe we would have hit another bacon. Another interplanar bacon. Wow, that is so satisfying. <laughs> this is just the beginning. And it's Won't just the beginning. Um Doesn't really matter what I grab. Yeah, we could have wand. Yeah, we could have chaos wand and burned them. Could have done that. Oh no. Oh, never mind. Not oh no. I was like, we got hijacked. But then their thing was a 1 1. I have 
let my friends die. All right, let's see. All right, so we got six artifacts, so this thing's free. We'll play that. And now the Guild Globe's free, so let's play that. No, I didn't get to claw. I was gonna, like our opponent was dead here this turn, this game. Cause I was gonna be able to double claw and kill him. With the double claw. I said I think I was killing him. Look at that. We beat mono red ish. They had a couple odd choices in the red deck, but still. See y'all didn't think we had a chance against aggro. Our deck's just great. You always have a chance when you have the claw. Uh, Tezzeret Master of the Bridge gives your Planeswalkers affinity. So it gave... It gave Tezzeret affinity. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, it gave Ugin affinity. What I meant to say. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Draw a card. See if we get an island. Nope. Yuck. Well, this is going to be a little tougher for us. Creature based aggro. Pretty tough. Right, come on, island. Okay, maybe not island. Keep the mobilized district. We'll play this Karn. So you put a vampire on top of your deck. Sanctum Seeker? Gross. Is that their ideal? One, two, three, four? Maybe. Some solutions must be built. I know, we needed snarring bridges. Oh, that's true, I could have played Psyche as a Guild Globe. I could have sacked the Guild Globe. Right, I forgot about the Guild Globe. That's why they're in here. Well, they do other things too, but yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so I could have played Psy instead of map last turn. I should just block so so I can oh, just play another one. Just keep the car around. So we'll have. We'll have our treasure map. Flip next turn and be able to make a whole lot of uh, little artifacts, which is good for our, our big car instruct here. And obviously we'll just chump with the Thopter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Second main Sanctum Seeker? Hmm. You may regret that choice.
All right, so I can I can flip the treasure map now, and then I use one of the treasures to cast Tezzeret. So we basically only go up one one artifact total, and we use a treasure. That's probably still worth it, though. Uh, yeah. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. Gain three life here. We'll be able to play the other Karn. The Karn has affinity now, so we'll play the Karn, gain another three life. Determine the course of history. Bzzz. Head for six. Power. I probably need like another blocker. Yeah, honestly, I probably should have Guardian. We, I talked about that before. I, I was definitely thinking about playing Guardian of Kolos in the sideboard instead of the Transmogrifying Wand. This next turn, though, if I go grab Wand... Like, Wand starting to exile these Knight of the Ebon Legions could be really good for me. <laughs> Thanks, Harris. Glad to have you here. Glad you're enjoying the stream. I'm probably going to have to go grab the wand here. The other Karn over here. I guess I could. Uh, I could have just gone and grabbed Meteor Golem. Guess I shouldn't have tapped that island. Interesting. I'll make use of that. I forgot about Meteor Golem. That's why not Meteor Golem. Meteor Golem costs zero mana. That's pretty nice. Both the mobilized districts cost zero to activate right now. Because I have four I have four legends in play. So yeah, I'll I'll still play this though. I think we're we're good. We don't really need to have the creatures. I think we're good there. This should strike fear into you. 
All right, they're down to nine. Maybe die next turn. Dude, this deck is sweet. Just shock for 11. Yeah, they're just dead. Yeah, they're dead. Probably dead. Dead-ish. I just gotta do 11 to them. That's very easy. Dude, this deck is sweet. I am really liking this deck. I thought we were going to like struggle against aggro, but look at this. We're at 36. We're doing our thing. Um, more Meteor Golem at zero mana. <sighs> we had seven, we're about to Tazeret for 17. They conceded too fast though. All right, let's see. Anything to change. Let's get another compass in over a spyglass. What's up, Hawkeye? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking that's it. I know these one-man artifacts don't do anything, but I like having the cheap artifacts in the deck. And, you know, we'll, we have a lot of good options still here, you know, for the Karn the Great Creator. I, I don't think we just really... We basically just don't sideboard at all with this deck. Maybe this should be a best-of-one deck. Because I'm, like, not sideboarding at all. All right, we got some bacon. Love it, bacon founder renewal. Get that life gain in, Hawkeye. Yeah, I, I think that you probably lose to, like, mono red and best of one, probably. But, I don't know. Maybe you can do some stuff with this deck in best of one. I don't know. We've been we've been doing okay against the aggro decks. This is a tough combination for us to beat, though. Admittedly. Legion's Lieutenant Maverin Fane. Yeah, that is true. Best of one is very, very aggro heavy. Man, our opponent is really good at curving out. They're very good at curving out. I mean, I can even, like, if I block, if they just attack out, I block Sanctum Seeker. Uh, I'm taking lethal here because I take five just from triggers. Yeah, I'm just dead. 
All right, no Mavern Fane Sanctum Seeker stuff. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Yeah, Ritual said... Yeah, the double black is tough. This deck's not really m made to play the other colors. I really like Fountain Renewal. We got a Scry Land here. Good. I can't change the avatar between mat like during the match. I I definitely consider putting a river's rebuke in the sideboard. All right, do we draw land? Hopefully, and hopefully our opponent doesn't have any removal. I kind of need to block this Adanta Vanguard. Our opponent, knowing our deck, they should have paid four life with Adanto Vanguard whenever they played it to grow the, the knight last turn. Land. Ooh. That's a good land, too. All right. We'll start with you. They missed a land drop. I just realized that. Interesting. Evil must not be tolerated. Some just a little too, too. Must be built. Yeah, this is my deck, J-Jack. I made this this morning. Hey, what's up, Zexian? Thanks for that resub there. We are halfway to our sub goal on the day. Y'all are awesome. If you're enjoying the stream, consider hitting that sub button as well. Get access to those 22 very cool emotes also. All right, so that'll grow the night. You are acting unwisely. A curious choice. I don't know why they gave me the island considering they know my hand. Like they they should definitely give me the side there. Of course, I had the island anyway, but they should definitely give me the eye. I have not played a Rakdos Sacrifice deck with Chandra. I haven't seen that at all. Alright, just staying alive. I wouldn't mind a two mana artifact here. Two mana or less artifact. Because Ugin makes the colorless spells cost one less. So ideally a two mana or less artifact. So I can play Ugin, then play that, and also, you know, make another Thopter with the Psy there. And next next turn, like, 
As long as we don't tap with Ugin, which is very likely. Hmm. Give me some extra life. It's very likely we don't tap with Ugin, and as long as we do, our opponent just dies next turn. Do not defy the designs of an elder dragon. Ether itself serves me. Silent. Because I'm gonna go get the perfection. the six man artifact that makes their spells cost two more. Next turn. Lame. Alright, well, opponent's not dead. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to me of visions. All right, so we'll still go grab that artifact, but we didn't get to play it this turn. Also. We'll see if they have. So the big question is if I want to hold up Mobilize District, which costs one mana to activate, or if I want to play Treasure Map. I guess I just play Treasure Map. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with, so my, my plan was kind of, was, hey, red, black aristocrats. Thanks, Landon. So I was, the, the problem with going Karn, Karn minus into Karn minus is we already, we saw them play a Legion's end. Maybe they have another Legion's end and they would just exile the Karn structs. And that could be kind of bad. This sets it up so I have God Pharaoh statue next turn. Our opponent getting stuck on land here just gave gave us all this time to get set up and everything. All right, so we have a a donation here for Red Black Aristocrats, and that was a skip the line donation too. So, uh, Fountain of Renewal, yeah, I'll just take that. That's good. Okay. So, Landon, do you want? Would you like me to play the Red Black? Red, black, aristocrats up next. Um, or would you like me to play it tomorrow, another day? Any day, any slot is up to you. You just let me know. And also send, send me the list you'd like me to, to play. Also. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I think we will. All 
All right, 2-0 and oh against two aggro decks. I don't want to change our avatar. We're, we're on a roll here. So, Landon, the, the floor is yours. You let me know. Send me the list and send me and let me know when you want me to play it. Any day at all. Including could be up next. Or any other time. This deck is really fun though. I like this deck. You're just trying to stay alive. Oh, we're probably pretty bad against Nexus. Our deck takes forever. Do I have anti-Nexus stuff? I have spy glasses. Oh, Jaharos, are you, are you, uh, okay, you're Landon, okay. Um, easiest way for the, to give me the list is goldfish. Here you go. Copy, paste into here. before action. Worse than the likes of you. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Just wait a moment. Pretty sure we're dead. We'll see, though. <laughs> Narset versus Gilglobe. The epic battle. The main re reason for Silent Gravestone is to stop Command the Dread Horde, which a lot of decks are playing. That's the main point of it, but yeah, Rekindling Phoenix is another thing. And Tamiyo. We have to name Blast Zone, obviously. The first one. Next turn we can go name we can go name Tamio.
My hand's not great, though. Every story is an opportunity. Oh, that's Kanta's tough, too. I know I noted this somewhere. Jeez. So Cage stops Chemistry's Insight. Hmm. So the problem is, is like I want the spy glasses in the main deck, but then the problem is I want them in the sideboard also for the Karn. <laughs> Mystic Forge doesn't do anything if we have Cage, of course, but... Why can't it be at the at the beginning of your opponent's upkeep they lose a life? That'd be nice. Chaos Wand could be kind of decent. So could Crucible. We have a couple of ways to win quickly. Antiquities War being a big one. The other way is, you know, Karnstrucks. Hmm. Kind of wish this Meteor Golem was something else. So do I need Tamio or Blast Zone? Tamio. No, back to ten eighty. Okay. Yeah, naming Blast Zone would make our Blast Zone useless, yes. But I, I do have the Field of Ruin for their Blast Zone, though. Um, my main plan with the Field of Ruin, though, of course, is the uh, Ascanta, the Sunken Ruin, but they're going to have another Ascanta. They have another Ascanta, though, also as a backup. Let us 
must begin. I will not need another friend. Yeah, I could have grabbed Helm. Helm copy Spyglass. It takes, you know, it takes two turns. It takes like a turn to play Helm and then a turn to equip. My purpose is greater than myself. All right, I'm going to say, should I say as, as can to the sunken ruin or should I say Narset with this one? I think I'll say as can to the sunken ruin. Yes, that's what I'd like to say is as, as can to the sunken ruin. There's something kind of glitchy about that. No. Because then it, it like resets my graphics to being this tent. Like on your y'all side, you probably don't notice a difference, but I notice a difference of it being like a whole lot clearer and everything being in 1440 there. Hey, Le Lathian, I'm doing very well today. Doing very well. Alright, so if I Field of Ruin the Blast Zone, they get to cast Nexus. I don't think that that's really that big of a problem. But yeah, they get to cast Nexus now. But I want that Blast Zone out of there. This is a tough game here. If I don't do that, of course they don't get to cast Nexus. I untap, you know, like... If I play statue, they get to have their blast zone kill these things. Um, so then I I have to like just not play anything and pass turn again, kind of thing. And in which case, then they nexus after that, and we're just kind of in the same spot. But I'm just letting them do that before. I don't have the cage in my sideboard anymore, do I? I don't think so. I think the cage is just in the main deck. Yeah, it is. So I couldn't minus Karn for cage. Cage would stop the chemistry's insights from. Allow 
Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. From being able to be cast there in the graveyard. Oh no. I should just name Blast Zone with the Spyglass. Oh, come on. Ugh. I knew I should have named Blast Zone instead of Tamio. Well then. Awaken. Ugh. I don't really like our chances, but you know, we're trying. I it's a really good chance that we're dead here, considering they'll be able to flip as you know, they play the new Escanta flip it. I could have just meteor golemed the wilderness reclamation instead of destroying the Ascanta. I don't think we're getting another turn here though, but they can they can definitely miss. I mean they we got 32 cards over here. Uh, I don't even know if they can miss, honestly. No, I don't think they can, actually. I guess the statue is doing some good work, though, because they don't get to play anything else here. That, that worked out pretty well. If only the statue dealt damage to them during their end step, my opponent's end step, or opponent's upkeep, like either one. You know, like if it's every every turn they take with Nexus, if we're hitting them with statue, that'd be incredible. With. To the library. With. With. Ugh. They didn't. Tough matchup. Tough matchup. Tough game. All right, two, one. Yeah, they they blast zoned my spy glasses. I should have just named Blast Zone with that with the first one instead of Tamio. Should have gone Blast Zone and then Ascanta. So they could always just find a, a bounce spell though. So Chandra Acolyte of Flame sacrifices the elementals, so they trigger the Mayhem Devil. 
That's pretty sweet. Cool. All right, so we're going to have Rakdos Aristocrats up next. With that pretty neat interaction. I like the Mask of Immolation in there. I like that card in there. Cool. All right, Gruel, you're going to be for tomorrow. All right, we're going to have Rakdos Aristocrats up next. No, I don't. I don't think Kaikara is very good, Dragon, especially not in like Jeskai Control, because it's a three-three. The the main point of being able to play Jeskai Control is to be able to play Deafening Clarion. Kaikara does not work out very well with that. I think Murmuring Mystic is a better card for a control deck than Kaikara is. Hey, what's up, After Wizard? I think the reason to play Ka Kaikara is if you have like some kind of weird combo with it. Thanks for that resub there, After Wizard. 27 months. So many months. So many hype boats. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Flame Sweep does not kill Nyssa creatures or Wild Growth Walker right away. But main thing is you need you need your sweeper to kill Nyssa stuff. The Nyssa creatures. You don't like flame sweep doesn't. Then plus it's like, well, why are we playing like a Kaikar or Murmur Mystic anyway? That just makes one ones that we want to sweep away. I don't know. It is Rad the Reptile. Yep. It is. Speaking of that, I had a, got a donation to make a, a new Ban Arcbow deck by the weekend here. Looks like our opponent got disconnected. Like after it joined. Which happens sometimes. It's happened to me before. That's really unfortunate though. Didn't get to really play anything here. So technically we're 3-1 and one, even though we didn't do anything to earn that third victory. But technically on the... The scoreboard were three and one. Okay. Here we go. I want to be playing against control deck. So I want to face. See some control over there. Could be control deck. Add a little blue. Get yourself some Esper. Or not. I honestly don't know if there's like anything in particular that I need to be upkeep scrying for. I don't think there is really. I can just kind of draw whatever. So we'll just take the draw step and once we draw our card, we'll have more information on what we want to do with our scry and plus of like whatever our opponent does on their turn. So we'll just have more information here. Train 
every day. No one is more prepared than me. Sure. I have just the trick for this. Yeah, this is a control deck. You're right. Is it is it worth it to have Karn make a treasure map a creature and attack Narset? Maybe not. I will fight for allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. It denies him a draw, but the, the treasure map would be a creature until my next turn, so it, it turns on uh, creature removal, you know, like cast down and um, tyrant scorn and things like that to kill my treasure map. Your prowess. So I definitely just want a land drop here. Do I scry upkeep and give myself the chance to miss? No Stand by and watch. No, land drop. I am not making this up as I go. If I if I miss the land drop, then I'm like not doing anything else but scrying again. Yeah, that's okay. A red black deck with rotting regisaur, salmon sprint, and thud. You better draw your rotting regisaur. A deck like that will be draw. Good draw. A deck like that's gonna be pretty inconsistent, but you'll be able to have some really cool stories. This is hardly my worst defeat. Some solutions must be built. All right, we still get the double scry here. The interplanar bacon was a really good draw. Just getting us a land. I like it. It is. It does have yeah? Those are some. Fun cards to put together. Uh, Blast Zone does cast our Ugin. I'll probably do better though. <laughs> All right, fine. We're Blast Zoning. Well, I guess I guess the the Karn Tick Up is just going to give me a land though. Karn Tick Up always gets a land. Still have much to learn. Every exploit ripples. I didn't really feel like using a treasure from treasure map to cast you again. So we'll see if they have elder spell. Hopefully not. Yep. That's all right. There, as Kanta's out of here. Love it. Oh, tap my island. I will 
evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. Yeah, I was debating just getting the Antiquities War in play there, but yeah, we went Karnstruct. Wouldn't be surprised for Kai's Wrath. No. Ugh. My Antiquities War. No. That's really unfortunate. There are greater battles to fight. I don't know if they're dead or not. They may be dead. I haven't done no math yet. What do I have to do? How do I have to... One, two, three, four... Uh, I guess I'm not really going to be activating both mobilized districts. I'm going to like activate one. These mobilized districts probably finish our opponent off, though. Like, they're at four. It's so it's so nice having all of your lands, like, do stuff. You know, we gain, you know, we gain a good amount of life with this thing in the other matches. You know, feel the ruin some stuff. They're going to need an instant speed removal spell also to stop two uh, mobilized districts. The main question is if I go for it. Hmm. I guess so. I would have to I would have had to use one treasure for mana. All right. Got game 1 against Espa. Let's cut a compass for a spyglass. That sounds good. <laughs> nice, Slim Jim. Very nice. So, yeah, with the London Mulligan r rule, I think how it affects your decision is that you can mulligan, you can, I think you should be mulliganing more than what you were before, basically. I think hands that are, like, real sketchy, but, um, you know, that you keep because they have, like, a whole lot of lands or, like, not very many lands, but, like, a good curve if you hit your lands, that kind of stuff seven card hands like that I think you can mulligan them more often I think you, that um, it makes your I think the the mulligan roll does make your deck better or you're like your six card hands are going to be generally better than what they were before all right we'll stop coming in the dread horde I mean, Esper just has the Teferis. That's how they usually deal with artifacts. Trust me, I have a plan. 
Which is alright. They they don't have like a ton of instant speed removal though for like mobilized districts. Let's try you know this. them playing like a bunch of Oath of Kaya's and stuff like that. Have certainly noticed that they've struggled with instant speed. I have faced worse than the likes of you. I will be better prepared next time. Oh, say hello to my little friend. I, I don't know. I probably should just be minusing there and just grabbing something instead of killing Teferi. It's probably better just to always grab something, you know, grab like another spyglass. Or the first spyglass, I suppose. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, if I would have just grabbed Spyglass last turn, we could have played it with the Guild Glove this turn and gotten rid of that Teferi. Nice. You had the Ley Line of Anticipation in there? Awesome. For Bant Flash? Yeah. As long as you don't play against Teferi, Ley Line of Anticipation does get to do a whole lot for you. Those who cannot just keep an open mind. Yeah, Slim Jim, yeah, you can you can put your list here in the chat if you'd like to link link me in the deck for an opinion. Um, no guarantees that I get that I see it in everything, but yeah, that's certainly something you can do. And you know and everything like that. Reverse. Alright, so they are Tucking. Tucking Karn means I don't have the mana to, or no, I do. So I, oh, I could mobilize district. Yeah, so I could mobilize district, attack Narset, and play then second main play Spyglass. But that's second main, and if they have the removal for district pre during the combat, that could be really bad. Let's play it a little safer. We'll let them we'll let them activate Narset again, I suppose. And play it this way. I definitely just want to play Spyglass on Teferi. I, I want that to happen. Okay, they did not have instant speed removal. See? Command the Dreadhorde. Good job, Silent Gravestone. Yeah, naming big Teferi here. So they get the Narset activation. But yeah, technically the, the turn would have been better to like the best turn would have been mobilize district attack Narset, play Spyglass, but it was just a risky line if they had you know Tyrant Scorn or something. No. My Tazaret. Oh, that's really annoying. I'm known for my excellent time. That was what a great two cards to have. Teferi and Thought Razor gets to get rid of the Spyglass altogether. That's a great two cards. Might be a bad idea. Ugh. Man. All because I didn't mobilize district to kill Narset. We need to move quickly.
you know, the worst possible happen with me taking the quote unquote safe line. Okay. Oh, well, should have played that second main. Could have just played that second main. Wait, so Tezzer at minus three returns an artifact from my graveyard to my hand. I can go put Spyglass back in my hand. So it actually does something. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't target things. Right. It's Gravestone. We'll just cycle the Guild Globe. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Here we go. Shut down this big Teferi again. more like it so their only card that does anything is a spark in hand there is all right so they are using it might. yeah silent gravestone is sweet they have thought erasure uh ah, duress still gross Still gonna wait a turn. I mean, I could mobilize district, kill the Teferi, but let's start. Let's get Tezzeret in play. Wait till next turn. Tezzeret can't draw a card next turn. Oh, it does get to. Mm, they get to instant speed Kaiserath though next turn. That's annoying. And then the following turn, then they get to bounce Gravestone. Play command the dread horde. Hmm. I'll protect you. Okay. So we played the bell haunt. Murmur out. So I'm glad they played Bell Hunt. That means I can sack a, a district. <laughs> there is great power in the 
I gotta make sure that they don't mess me up with the auto tap here. Alright, get this to ferry out of here. Just concede. <laughs> we got him, Hawkeye. We got that Esper control player. A bunch of spyglasses and silent gravestones. Carns. Good old Carn Troll. <laughs> Hawkeye's just looking at me like, what are you talking about? GG's. Okay. We're out. Yeah, that's, that's what we did. Yeah, we exhausted his removal, locked them out of the card advantage. All right, car troll four and one. Colorless decks, back in standard. We're at the final boss yet again. Three leagues today, three final bosses. That's the matchup that we want to face, I think, with this deck is the Esper control matchup. What did M20 give this deck? I don't know. I don't let's see. What did what did M20 give this deck? Um the manifold key, which doesn't actually do anything. The Mystic Forge, which doesn't really do anything either. Basically nothing. Graft Digger's Cage? Gave me a Graft Digger's Cage in the sideboard. No, they, they changed how the decks look. This is 60 cards now. Abzan. Abzan Knights. Hmm. History of Benali is going to be tough. Street Benali is going to be tough. What's the deal with these people just curving out? I mean, I'm just dead next turn. Valley of Night kills me. Gives their creatures double strike. I don't want to show my opponent anything else. No worries, show them a good amount. The aggro curve out is what we are scared of. The, the aggro curve out is what beats our deck. Need some time to get set up. That's why we like playing against the Esper controls. Mm. 
No, Gruel Midrange is moving to tomorrow. We had a skip the line donation. Hmm. Hmm. We'll bottom it. I don't mind that it's just an artifact we get to play next turn. So we're going to have a sweet Rakdos Aristocrats deck next, and we'll play the, the Gruul deck tomorrow. I guess I could have fielded this turn. Yeah, I think it is Antiquities War. It's either Antiquities War or, or this Karn Tick Up. Like I, I kind of like how much time this Karn Tick Up buys us. Cool, I'll take this high. That was the card I wanted. Hmm. Stop with the our curve out. Ensures our victory. I will lend you my strength. Alright, so much for buying time. Please do not do that. I will return. Dang. So much for buying time. Gosh, Johnny Eversary. I mean, I've, I've done this so many times to people, you know, two drop, three drop a Johnny Eversary Tyrants. It's definitely a card I've played just a ton of. Hmm. I'm gonna have to grab a spyglass for this Ajani. Deliver us to victory. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do here. Karn, get spyglass. I wish I was gaining a life a turn. My poor founder renewal. Our actions determine the course of history. Stand down. That's great. That's just great. Final bosses are tough. Final bosses are tough. 
No easy wins there. Be strong. So Valiant Knight turns these things, like turns, turns these things into be bigger than the Psy also, and jeez. He's going to be able to stay alive for a little bit, but not Valiant Knight. Wow. Alright, 4-2. Here. Yeah, three three two in games we played. Yep, we there was a, a free win there from opponent disconnect that we we didn't actually play. So yeah, technically a three two. Um, but yeah, the, the that's just a weakness to our deck um, that we talked about before. That you play against a creature deck that really curves out like that, you're gonna struggle. And um, honestly, we did pretty good against aggro. Let me get. Uh, Music back up. We did pretty good against aggro overall, to be honest. Um, like that last, you know, like that last uh, match that we lost. Like our opponent's hands, both games were just really, really good, including like the double knight of autumn. There, uh, that really hurt. Um, you know, we 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 had the six lands. We didn't quite have the seventh land to like start grabbing thaumatic compasses. Uh, which is really what I wanted to be doing is getting Thaumatic Compass. Like, we we came close to stabilizing there. We are almost there, but unfortunately did not get there. Um, yeah, yeah, we don't have removal. That's that's just kind of, that's just like part of the deck. And that's, you know, when I'm playing a deck that's basically all colorless, um, there's not colorless removal that's, that's any good. And so that's just a thing. And that's okay. Um, but between, like, the size, the Tezzeret makes some other creatures, the Karn, making the Karn Strucks, uh, Ugin, I guess, being a little removal, ticking up, the Tezzeret gaining life. You can do some stuff. Like, if we could have just, you know, had another, you know, five life because of the Fountain Renewal, if we were still gaining life from Fountain Renewal, would have helped out. But the... I do have to say I was really impressed by the Interplanar Bacons gaining us a good amount of life in there. The Mobilized Districts, of course, were just awesome. Um, a pretty sweet deck and good against good against Esper Control. You got a lot of people playing Esper Control. Um, like I said I, before this, the, the two matches I played off-stream were against Esper, and you saw that one on-stream. I, I was 6-0 in games, 3-0 in matches against Esper. Um, you got to get some good stuff here. The games aren't super easy. Like this is not this is not a really easy deck to play, at all. Um, but it's a it's a fun deck to fun deck to play. Um, yeah, and we have Meteor Golem. See, there you go. There's some removal. Um, pretty sweet one here. All right, that's Karn Control or Karn Troll, if you like jamming two words into one. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck also. And uh, if so, please hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel. I'd, I'd be appreciative of that too. But that's it here for Carn Control. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.